Okay, today we got a fun little project. We're gonna take the magnets out of an old microwave oven and we're gonna use those magnets for some really, really cool projects later on. So, here we go. Okay, obviously the first thing we need is an old microwave oven. This is a microwave oven that my son had that shorted out uh, and it doesn't work anymore and it smells burned inside, you know, because it kind of shorted out. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take every screw out of the back of this thing. The only problem is, the ones on the side of the case, here, here, there, and there, they're Torx heads. So I got my little Torx head screwdriver, so I'm gonna take those out first. Okay, now the top. We don't even really care about the top. We don't want to touch anything in there. Okay, here we go. Now, we've got the top off and this is the side. You can see it's got the cooling fan right there. Uh, that is the capacitor. Do not touch that. That thing holds between three and 5,000 volts and it will be sudden death if you grab that capacitor. Uh, but it's hooked into the bottom of the magnetron. That's the magnetron. That's what we got to get out of there because the magnets are right in that little box right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to unplug that capacitor and then we're going to get that magnetron out. All right, we're getting pretty close here. Um, our capacitor is down there. We haven't screwed with it. There's the fan. We've got the magnetron out here with a little light. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm, we're just gonna cut these wires uh, and then we're gonna get that magnetron up on the workbench and then we're gonna take those magnets out of there. Okay, here we go. We got our magnetron out of the microwave oven and it's pretty safe now. There's no voltage or anything else, but there's a couple of things that you really have to look out for. One are those insulators, and they're pink. You don't want to crush up those insulators because if you know you get the airborne dust of the insulator, and if you get it in your lungs, that can cause some really bad stuff. There's one insulator there, and there's another one all the way down here. Ooh, those magnets are strong. Huh, they're the bolt. <laughs> those magnets are strong. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop off this cap. And all we do is we just kind of pry it. Okay. Now, we got to cut a couple of wires. We have to, so that we can pull the insulator out. And there's another one of those insulators right under here. So we're going to cut this copper wire and that piece of copper wire so that we can pull it out. Okay, let's move those out of the way. Now, when we take apart the other side, that'll slide right out. Okay, first thing we have to do is this cover is on with clips. Uh, and we just have to bend these clips out so that we can take the top of the cover off. So we're gonna do that. Let's see how I can bend these clips. Things are on there. <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna work on those and I'll be back. All right, when all else fails, break out the hammer. All right, looks like, <clears throat> looks like one side's off. other one all 
Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Alright. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> you can see we got the cover. That's junk. This has just only a couple parts. It has this little brass ring. Okay. That we're just going to take off. Now, we got another. Um, We got another small, and it's it's stuck on there because it's a magnet. It's just a, kind of a small washer. Just remove that. Got to be careful of that insulator, that pink insulator. That's where the bad chemicals are. Now we can just <clears throat> lift one of them out. There's one. Now. Gonna get this other one out, and I believe that this whole works. Will slide right out like that, and show us. Jeez, <laughs> it's man, it's stuck on there. This is a really powerful magnet. Jeez. I don't really want to wreck it. There we go. Success. Look at, jeez. Man, wow. Those things are so powerful. Holy mackerel. There we go. We're going to make some fun projects out of these. Okay, there you go. That's how we harvest magnets from an old hunk of junk microwave. Now we got some really nice magnets. I'm not going to get these too close to each other because, man, they are strong. Don't <laughs> These will snap your fingers if you, if you hook them on the flat side. We're going to make some fun projects with these later. As I'm going to show you, we're going to generate a little bit of free electricity, and I think it's going to be fun. And like, like this is a really, really fun project. There's only a couple of things that you have to watch out for. you got to watch out. For that capacitor at the bottom of the microwave oven this one was plugged in uh, just a few days ago so there's a lot of voltage left in that capacitor and if you grab it or hit it the wrong way I, it's going to kill you uh, and you have to watch out for those nice little purple insulators uh, that insulate the magnets inside of the magnetron you be careful not to crush those and you know if you breathe any of that vapor it can cause some really bad stuff so that's a uh, that's what we got we got some nice, we got some nice strong magnets for our projects. So until next time, this is Matt the Old Florida Boy, and I'll see you on the trail.